We're sitting down here today taking a look at the new semi unit. We pretty much got it completed and uh, ready to go. We switched out the PWM for one that's uh, easier to control from the front. See the adjustment screws there. The other one we had in there, you had to take the cover off to get to the adjustment. But it, it will be preset at 35 amps. And we've got the wiring in there all nice and tight. We switched the wiring to uh, 8 gauge to handle the 35 amps. And we move the capacitor to the back. And back here we've changed the where the uh, fan exhausts out. Got a cover to keep uh, dirt rain and there's a screen on there to keep the bugs out. So that deflects it down. In the bottom we change the bottom to a uh, filter. So there's a filter membrane in there to uh, catch any of the dirt it wants to pull through. You put that on there, I mean, that's... Tell you what, I think it's doggone, it's a pretty doggone clean deal. What do you think? Yeah. And the vent on the back just ends the deal. Uh, that 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 cover on the back of the fan that, that doesn't end that deal. I mean that's almost in a situation where where we put a little bit of seal, very a very little gasket around that lid. Don't need much. No. That'll Somebody, seal it up nicely so it draws air in through the bottom. It would, it would almost be like if we could do your gasket material and cut it and, and glue it on there. That's all you would need. It's very, real thin. And I think you're in a circumstance that it's a deal where you could actually pressure wash the outside of it and be all right. Yep. It'll be nice and sealed. Yeah. I mean, the way we've got it now, there's no water getting in there. Mm -mm. Can't come in through the back. The fan's going to force it out. Yeah, exactly. It's not coming in through the bottom. Got that nice filter in there. <laughs> 